Here's the Bravo Awards with Betty Hines. Where do I stare? I'm sorry. You're, you're good. Straight ahead. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. So let me ask you this, Betty. You got to turn back the clock to when you were a senior in high school. What advice would you give yourself? What I would give myself is to reach out and accept everything and not be judgmental. Uh, as a high school person, I was very involved, popular as you might call it, and I did a lot of things. Was very involved in the school, but I really did take the opportunity to embrace different ideas, and uh, therefore I kind of went my own way. But to respect those who have gone before me, and to really absorb the knowledge that they impart. Master, so a lot of millennials in the workplace now. What's your what would what advice would you give millennials, and how would what would be your advice on how to manage them? The advice I would give millennials is to sit down at the table with us baby boomers and just develop a partnership, a relationship. Ask them to be your mentor from two perspectives. I, as a baby boomer, I need your knowledge. I mean, you talk about uh, digital marketing, they are experts at that field. And so I need to kind of like extract the knowledge that they have, and they need to extract my words of wisdom. So that's the advice that I would give them. As far as managing them, one of the things I would consider in management, don't try to change them. They are who they are. I mean, for example, they do everything off a smartphone. We're so used to having everything in paper, except their world. Think about, as a baby boomer, what our parents thought about our world and the adjustments they had to make. So be more accepting of them. Great answer. Talking about smartphones, what's your go-to app that you need for your business? If you could pick one app that says, I need this for my business, what would it be? Okay, just having come back from a conference on someone that is an expert on all the different applications, and there are at least 100 plus out there. For me, because I'm a baby boomer, I'm, I won't say it's the best app, it's the one I'm most comfortable with, and that's LinkedIn. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that, definitely. <laughs> Um, if you hired me tomorrow, what, what book would you give me and say, John, read this? Napoleon Hill. That's the one I would give you, uh, Napoleon Hill. It's a, it's a book that's been out for decades, but it's the, the principles and premises are still true. All right, last question for you. What kind of, uh, what, what would you like to see uh, Mayor Pugh and Governor Hogan do to spur business in Maryland and specifically downtown and improve small businesses' chances for success? I think one one thing that is very critical for I don't I'm not so confident that they're singing out of the same hymn book. They need to redefine what is a small business and what what is a good market for Baltimore City. What is a small business in Baltimore City? It's not a small business in Chicago or Detroit. So I think they really need to put on a clean sheet of paper what businesses fit the topography, what businesses fit the demographics for their city and work collaboratively together to move it forward. Awesome. Thank you.